Hi, I'm Luke from Art Cyclery. I'm going to tell you today how to fit a helmet and what to look for when buying a helmet. So there are basically two kinds of helmets out there these days. There's what's called a road helmet. Here's an example of that, and a mountain helmet. If you take a look, the mountain helmet has a little more coverage in the back of the helmet, uh, provides a little more impact protection than the road helmet. Uh, that comes at the expense of weight. So the mountain helmet's going to be a bit heavier than a road helmet. Usually a road helmet will also have more ventilation, especially when you get up into the higher end helmets. Uh, a mountain helmet, in contrast, the vents aren't quite as big, so you have a little more actual helmet protecting you, and that's to protect against impacts by rocks and sticks and such, uh, giving those less of a chance to get into the helmet and touch your head. So, once you've decided whether or not you need a mountain helmet or a road helmet, uh, then you need to look at things like ventilation, which I told you, usually a well-ventilated hel well ventilated helmet is going to cost quite a bit more. So, as the ventilation goes up, uh, the engineers have to figure out how to make less of a helmet as protective as more of a helmet. So that's where the cost comes from there. Another thing you're going to look at is retention systems. Uh, this is a pretty nice retention system. You have vertical adjustment. You can pull this up or down. And you have a little dial here that adjusts the horizontal adjustment. And that's how tight it feels around your head. So. Here's an example of another retention system which has the horizontal adjustment, but it does not give you the vertical adjustment. So you're going to save a little bit of money here, but you lose a little bit of fine-tuning ability to really dial it into the shape of your head. Now the shape of your head is probably the most important thing you need to consider when buying a helmet, and that's finding the right helmet that's going to fit your head. Different helmets have different shapes. Uh, they're designed to fit different shaped heads. Different manufacturers use different molds, and even within manufacturers, there are different shaped helmets. So for instance, this style of helmet might fit more of a round shaped head. And if you're looking at this helmet here, this helmet might fit more of a oblong or an oval shaped head. So you really need to uh, try on some helmets if you can. Um, if not, if you like a helmet, you can always buy one from us, try it on, send it back. If it doesn't fit, we'll get you the right one. So Gerald's going to help me show you what a good fit looks like from a helmet. Let's start with a medium helmet. Here's a medium. So when you put the helmet on, you obviously want to tuck the uh, straps out of the way, open up the retention system all the way so it's nice and loose, put it on the head, and then just snug it up till you get some resistance. You don't want to make that really tight. And then you take a look. You can kind of see there's not a lot of space bet um, between the temple and the helmet. You know, maybe you can stick a finger up in there. You want that to be pretty snug. You don't want there to be excessive movement. That looks pretty good. Um, if you look at the back of the helmet, you can see that it's pretty close to the back of his head. Take a look at the sides back here. Turn just a little bit. Once again, just like the temple, it's pretty close to the head. There's a little bit of room in there. You want it to be comfortable, but you don't want it to be loose. You want the helmet to be able to stay on your head without even being strapped on. So simply the fit of the helmet and the retention system in the back should keep the helmet on in this kind of situation. Obviously, if you crash, that's not going to be enough. So then, once you're done, go ahead and look up. Snug that up, and you want to dial in the fit of the, the uh, chin strap there. You want it to be away from your ears. You generally want these to fall right around your jawline. You can move those up and down a little bit to, you know, to meet your own comfort standards. Uh, but you want those away from your ears, and you generally shoot for getting the chin strap right under your chin. You want that to be snug, probably so you can get two fingers underneath, and that's about it. You don't want it to be too tight, though. If it's too tight, go ahead and loosen it up a touch. So that looks like a good fit. Not a lot of movement, snug all around the head, but not too tight. So that's what you're looking for. Also, you notice that it comes down pretty far on his forehead. That's uh, very important to give protection for frontal impacts. So if it's too high up, then you're not going to get that protection if you hit yourself in the forehead. And if it's too low, you won't be able to see because the helmet's going to be covering your eyes. So that's a good fit right there. Let's take a look at what a bad fit looks like. 
Okay, now this is going to be too large of a fit. So let's put that on. Give that a snug in the back. Now the first thing you notice, the top of the helm or the bottom of the helmet is touching his eyebrows. That's lower than the last one we saw. So when your head's down, if you're on the handlebars and you're looking up, that's going to block your vision. Second thing you notice, go ahead and shake your head. That helmet's moving around quite a bit. So that is a bad sign. That's too big. And if we look here, there's a lot of room on the temple there. With the other helmet, I could barely get my finger under there. So that is also a bad sign. Um, go ahead and give it a good shake. Yeah, that helmet's moving fore and aft quite a bit. And then how, how does it feel? Does it feel like you have too much pretty room. sloppy? Yeah, pretty sloppy. Fit is greatly dependent on feel too. If it feels wrong, probably is. So that's what too big of a helmet looks like. Let's take a look at too small of a helmet. This helmet hardly needs any explanation at all. You can tell it's too small just with a quick glance. It's sitting very high on the top of its head. He's not getting any forehead coverage at all. If you turn around on the back, it's, it's too high above his ears. It's sitting very tall on the top of his head. And, you know, I can, I can crank it down. How does that feel? Feels uncomfortable. Very tight. So obviously, a small helmet's a little easier to tell. So that's what too small of a helmet looks like. So that's how to choose the proper helmet and dial in the right fit. If you have any other questions about this or other bike-related issues, give us a call at Art Cyclery. Check us out online. Feel free to send us an email. And don't forget to look at our other Learning Center videos to answer all the questions you have.